The History of the X-303 The X-303 was an interstellar spaceship built secretly on Earth using technology procured by Stargate Command. Manufacturer, the Tari, Class X-303. Length, 195 meters, width, 80 meters, height, 65 meters, maximum speed, 110 miles per second. Engine units, sublight engines, maneuvering thrusters, buffered Naquadria reactor core, fuel Naquadria, hyperdrive system interstellar, power plant Naquadria generator, shielding Asgard shields, hull Naquadria trillium alloy, armament 12 missile batteries, 16 railguns, complement 8 F302 fighter interceptors, crew 115 plus. Minimum crew, 20. Other systems, transportation rings. Like its predecessor, the X-302 hyperspace fighter, the X-303 is exclusively Tory construction. Like the 302, it has inertial dampers, artificial gravity, and an anti-gravity system that allows the vessel to hover in mid-air. Its sublight engines are capable of boosting it from the surface into orbit in less than 30 seconds, and it also possesses a Naquadria-based hyperdrive. Unlike the 302, which is designed as a fighter interceptor, the X-303 developed as a response to the Gwald Hatak. It is the United States Air Force first capital ship. Its span consists of 17 plus decks and is capable of carrying more than 100 personnel, as well as 8 302s within its hangar bay. The X-302 was built using both Earth-based and alien technology. Its design is based on that of an Earth naval aircraft carrier, having a long nose with a visible bridge area near the rear of the vessel. The X-303 was capable of both sublight and hyperspace travel. It could reach up to half the speed of light at sublight speeds. Its hyperdrive, however, was unstable and thus unreliable, being based on the Quadria. The first test ended with the vessel stranded in an unknown area of space, and the second attempt, it overloaded and had to be ejected to save the ship. For armaments, the X-303 had an array of rail guns around the hull, and missile launchers loaded with Naquadria enhanced nuclear warheads. The X-303 was constructed in an underground hangar facility, designated Area 37-92NV under the project name Prometheus. Its development was so large an undertaking that maintaining its security proved impossible, with information leaking to reporter Julia Donovan with Inside Access News Program. In an attempt to minimize the potential damage of the project's disclosure, the President of the United States agreed to give Donovan, her producer, and a camera crew a tour of the X-303, claiming that the alien technology it incorporated was in fact salvaged from a UFO that crashed near Fairbanks, Alaska in 1978. Ultimately, the X-303 entered active service taking the designation BC-303 and the name Prometheus. In this capacity, it served as the flagship of the Tory fleet under the auspice of the Office of Homeworld Security and received additional upgrades from the Asgard. After nearly being in service for four years, the Prometheus was eventually destroyed in the Battle of Telgus, which occurred February 2006. Although plans were made later to construct an entire fleet of BC-303s, the introduction of the Daedalus-class battlecruisers rendered the craft obsolete, leaving the Prometheus as the sole vessel in its class. The design plans for the X-303 without the Asgard upgrades were provided to the Russian Federation in 2002, along with those of the X-302 hyperspace fighter. However, the Russians have apparently not constructed any such vessels. Thank you for watching the X-303. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.